All right, good morning, you guys. So that actually did come to fruition. They went and approached that older gentleman and he did give permission to drain that pond. Uh, I thought they were gonna do it during the day. Those guys did it last night. They worked all day and they were drinking too in the sun and everything, but apparently that wasn't enough for them. These people are really hard workers. So they've already drained the pond and it's about eight in the morning. So they're waiting for us and hopefully uh, that pond will offer a lot more diversity as far as fish and apple tends to think there's going to be a lot of snakes so we're on this little dirt road um yes i am driving here in thailand but i'm very comfortable because there's no traffic but this is a pretty narrow road so i need to be careful of course i'm not used to driving on the opposite side and i have you know the the manual transmission and everything everything's on on my left side which is kind of odd so I need to be aware of what's going on. So we should be there in a few minutes and hopefully it will be interesting. So this is a same area that we were at in a previous video on a previous visit. Um, if you guys watched it, of course, uh, we had some snakes that came up out of this area right here. It's a really interesting area. It's really pretty and it has this really interesting river through here. So I'm gonna stop announcing our future plans because it seems like all the information that we're getting is usually wrong. So the, um, the people that are draining the fish pond, they, even though they said last night that they had already drained it, they did not. They're draining it right now. So that's going to make for a much more interesting video because we'll be able to see the water level drop. Also, we've been invited to do a trip down, we think, this river by boat, looking for snakes by boat. Um, again, I'm hesitant to put those uh, plans out there because we really don't know because a lot of people, you know, they invite us to do stuff and we get the wrong idea about what it what it's going to be. But we think that we're going to be getting on a boat at some point during this trip. Maybe not today, but during this trip and we're going to be going down this little tributary right here and we're going to be looking for snakes and wildlife. So anyway, we need to trek through the bush a little bit to get to this, um, this uh, little pond that they're draining. I've already seen it. This is gonna be a very interesting array of animals because this one is not really man-made. It's just kind of an offshoot from this river and that's gonna provide a huge diversity of animals. I hope, fingers crossed, let's go do it. Yeah, 
So here come the snakes. Okay, thank you. Oh, my thank you, cup and cup. So these are Homolopsis bucata. Oops. <laughs> Big and fat. They have a pretty good bite and I don't want to get latched on. Usually anything that eats fish has a really strong bite. They don't have a lot of opportunities when the fish swim by to grab them. So this one here, I would say, is probably grabbing. This is a male right here, smaller one. This is a boy. Super healthy. My gosh, these snakes have some incredible body weight. And this one right here is a female. And she is... I think she's... Oh, there's some big fish. Look at the snakehead. Wow, that's a pretty one too. Oh man, this is going to be super interesting. Wow. There's so much going on, I can't even like focus right now. There's big snake heads and all kinds of stuff getting crazy. But anyway, this is gonna be super interesting. All right. The snakes are sort of the byproduct, but there's water everywhere. These guys will be able to make their way out into some more aquatic environment. The whole place, this is just basically draining into the, into the river, the main river. So there's a ton of these snakes around here. So I don't know what we're gonna see, but my eyes keep, things keep attracting my eyes. There's a lot of splashing and stuff going on. It's gonna be really interesting. All right, now you guys are going to see what I've been trying to tell you. So interesting what lives in these little tributaries. These are, this is a clown knife fish. For those of you that are into fish, you probably recognize these. Big, big clown knife. These here, these are all snakeheads. It appears to be two varieties of snakehead. This one here, this is kind of a brown color. And then this other variety here, these guys um, are all banded and striped out. Very, very beautiful. I don't know if it's two different varieties of clown knives because some of them have the spotting. Some of them do not, I have no idea. It could be gender specific, I have no idea. But it's very interesting. And a lot of the smaller fish that these guys are ignoring because they're small, there's gonna be betas in here, there's gonna be tetras in here, and a lot of stuff that I remember from way back in the day when I worked at a, at a pet store. When I was 14 years old, I actually managed um, the aquarium section, the fish section. So a lot of this stuff, even though I'm not a really hardcore fish enthusiast right now as an adult, but back in those days, I remember all those Latin names and stuff. So it's really interesting for me to look through here and see all this stuff that I used to see only in aquariums. And now here we are getting them out of the river. I think it's really, really cool. It kind of trips me out. So there's gonna be more interesting stuff coming out of there. We want you to see that one. Yeah, it's pretty. And then I don't know what this is. Do you know what this is, Apple? Mm, I don't know. Let me see. What could it? He said it might be the same type of this. Oh, I know that one, but I don't know what they call it in English. T tell him the reason it's interesting to me because in the in the aquarium in the fish aquarium hobby in yeah. the U.S. like they keep this like, and the clown knives also. 
Okay, so the season right now is like a winter season. All the water levels on the river or something is dropping down like a drain. It make it easy for them to drain. So when the level of the water low and then they drain it off and then all the fish from the rainy season before is coming stuck in the pond. And then when they drain it off and then all the fish will be in there. Like that on this time of year, around this time of year, November, December. So it will be lots of fish, very interesting a variety of fish also. And they'll do it again in a year? Yes, they will do it again in the year, next year. And sometime in the rainy season, water will flood a lot everywhere. And then it's good for these uh, farmer people. They will bring the boat out and then they put the net across the river and then the fish will stuck in the net also at that time so they can get big fish small fish so yeah <laughs> So this is a checkered keelback. Now I know in the hobby sometimes we come across these and they're very small. They are not big like this. This is a very, very big one. He's got himself up in the air. It's starting to hood a little bit. Nope, don't you do it. <laughs> These have a very toxic bite, and I do not want to get nipped on by this guy. You can see he's in his defense posture, it's starting to flatten out a lot. Wow, beautiful snake. Wow, I'm just blown away by the, the mass of this little snake. It's so beefy. It's not that long, but man, does it have some weight to it. This animal to me looks like, has some age to it and a super abundance of food. For it to get this much mass, wow. It looks like a female. Yeah, you're a girl, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So there is another very, very fresh snake head. They rub it with salt before they throw it over the fire. Add some to the flavor but a little too hot to eat at the moment, but we'll get into it as soon as it cools down. Very fresh.